This is a dark episode for August the 17th, 2023, and ah, I did my vocal video for the day, which was a uh, little discussion on Sandy Hook in American Tragedy and the Fight for Truth um, by Elizabeth Williamson, 2022 nonfiction book by this New York Times writer, uh, journalist, journo, um, and I think I did an okay job. I mean, I think I did an okay job. It's one of those books where it's like, unless you're a super expert and you've done massive amounts of research, you just sound like there's one, there's one sense that you could be seen as a gullible fool who's been taken in by mainstream media, uh, which isn't how I see myself, but I didn't do massive amounts of research. I'm basically going on the, this is someone who seems to have backed up her assertions with uh, reportages of fact. And um, because of her position as a New York Times writer, uh, I'm taking a lot of what she says as the truth. Um, you know, which is an interesting meta thing because there's a lot of other people who are taking um, someone like Alex Jones or something like that as saying stuff as the truth. Um, I, I think Elizabeth Williamson kind of puts forward a more persuasive and logical and um, cohesive and not fear-based uh, argument, a reportage of what the events that have happened um, since the 2012 shooting at Sandy Hook that, mur that were 20 children first grade children were murdered as well as six adults so yeah I don't feel bad about that <laughs> it's like I feel like yeah duh but it, it I mean it's what where it gets into the interesting stuff is kind of pulling apart various people who whipped up all this frenzy and believed this frenzy and took this information and then harassed the parents and the politicians who've taken this to um, hold on to what seemed to me to be fucking insane political um, positions of, of everyone in America should be armed with a gun. It's like, no, they shouldn't. Holy shit. No, they shouldn't. Hey, guys. Okay. So yeah, I did that. Um, that was good. I worked with two young women tonight. At one point, sitting in the kitchen, them talking about yoga. And demonstrating, not demonstrating, but showing different flexible poses. It's just like, okay. <laughs> this is my life. I'm an old, old dude who, who is very stiff. And it's just like, uh, I can do my simple exercises to keep my back straight. I'm an old bastard. Um, I, you know, I don't feel that way, but I am. Jesus Christ, I'm like 30 years. I got 30 years on both of these girls. And I will call them girls. <laughs> Even though they are smart, capable, uh, strong, intelligent, more intelligent than me, young women. Um who, you know, when they get to my age, will be have gone far, 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 far further in their lives than I ever will. And I should be, hu I am humbled by them. Um, but yeah, so that's my life. <laughs> um, and come home to barking dogs and Ja, who is doing well, which is good. Um, yeah, which is good. I, I love, I love my love. I love my life. Hmm. I do. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad life. And I'm very lucky to have it. And that's where I leave my day today. <laughs>